Hi, this is Stefan from Intel. I'm a member of the Diagnostics and Trade Tools group. In this video, I'll provide a short introduction on the differences of just-in-time and ahead-of-time compilation when you're compiling accelerated code for your target platform. So let's get started. First, we have the just-in-time compilation. Here, no target code is produced at compile time of your host application, but the offline compiler is invoked for your GPU regions each time you run the application. This implies that you don't have to provide the target device in advance, but has the drawback that the offload code is compiled each time you run your application. On the other side, we have a head of time compilation. Here, one or more target devices are provided by the developer. Offload sections are compiled for the specific target and embedded into your host application. This typically results in larger binaries. For AOT compiled code, you only have to pay the price for compiling your offload code once, but the binary will not run on other hardware. Let's now check an example how to use JIT and AOT to compile your code. Let's first compile the source code using the JIT compilation mode. So we have ICPX minus G minus O0 minus F sickle. Let's check the available devices. And I would like to use the GPU device, this Intel Data Center GPU Max, combined with the level zero backend. So I'm using the GTP minus one API, and then I pass as arguments GPU, the name of the GPU device I would like to use, and the level zero backend. Let's list the relevant code sections. We can see that the current parallel 4 is implemented in line 52, so I insert a breakpoint in 55, for example. And we hit in line 55 on the GPU device. I could now do my standard debugging, for example, I can do in for locals, but instead I will quit this debugging session now and show you how to use the AOT compilation mode. I'm using the ICPX minus G minus O0 minus F sickle minus F sickle targets. We set it to spur 64 gen. Now we have to pass um, the device ID. And we can see that the offline compiler is invoked here. Let's do the debugging session again. Breakpoint 55. Again, we can hit. In this video, we learn about the differences between just in time and ahead of time compilation. We used the array transform example from the One API service repository to generate JIT and AOT compiled binaries. Let's now conclude on what we've learned in this video. If we use ahead of time compilation, you only have to pay the price once, but it results in larger binaries and you need to know your target platform in advance. On the other side, just-in-time provides smaller binaries and more flexibility. You don't need to know your target at the compile time. You can also make use of caching to reduce the overhead. Thank you for watching my video.